Let's consider the case now we have an isothermal expansion of an ideal gas. If we go back here, we now have an isothermal expansion of an ideal gas. <laughs> Can't spell today. All right, so what we're going to do here, again, we'll draw this classic PCAM picture. We have an ideal gas in here. We're now going to expand it at constant temperature. All right, so this will now be at constant temperature. We said that if it were adiabatic, the gas is going to cool off. So what's going to happen, we're going to have to put some heat in here in order to uh, increase the temperature of the gas to keep it constant. As the gas expands, if this were adiabatic, insulated, the temperature will go down. It's no longer insulated, so now we're going to have to put in some heat, transfer some heat in there in order to increase the temperature to main it to compensate for the temperature decrease to maintain a constant temperature. So again, let's uh, use the idea for an ideal gas. The internal energy, U, is a function of T only. Well, that's interesting. So that if DT is zero for a constant temperature process, this implies what? DU is equal to zero. So in that case, using the first law, DU, is equal to dq plus dw. If du is equal to zero, this means that dq is equal to minus dw. So how much uh, work the system did on the surroundings, that's made up for by an increase by transferring heat into the system. Do work here, transfer heat in here in order to maintain constant temperature.